Jesus. Somebody call Jesus. Somebody shout Jesus. Scream the name of Jesus. Shout the name of Jesus. You are believing God. They say no one like you. You are believing God. Jesus, no one like you. You are believing God. They say sing a Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even, even though I don't know the meaning, but it is sweet in the mouth. Very sweet. Like honey, eh, kue, kue, ke. <laughs> hey, I think it up. Hey, come on. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good morning, church. You may be seated, thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We are at home, wherever you are. We salute your faith. Thank you, Lord. Yes, we continue to move according to the spirit of God, wave. When he wave this direction, we follow. That direction, we follow. That is uh, the... the the, the message you are receiving every week. Like last week, we talk about a season of little. Indeed, season of little. And that message will guide you. No matter the little you have, share with others. 
it's easy to share with little than much. Oh, I know this message. Take it, take it, take it. But we cannot just stop the issue of Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Father. So we have to continue today. See where we are going to stop and continue next week as well. Hallelujah. Amen. Today I, I could remember the first meeting, filled with the Spirit. There's a message there which may help knowing Jesus, knowing the Holy Spirit. That means if you don't know the Holy Spirit, you cannot know Jesus. So what, what do we have to say about this? This is an issue. Knowing Jesus, knowing the Holy Spirit. I know Jesus, I know the Holy Spirit. If you don't know the Holy Spirit, you cannot know Jesus. So this is an issue we are going to talk about today. That will take our title, Knowing Jesus, Knowing the Holy Spirit. Let someone say it. If you say you know Jesus, we don't know the Holy Spirit, that is not Jesus in the power of the Holy Ghost. It's a spirit, and his worshiper must do so in spirit and truth. What kind of Jesus are we talking about? Knowing Jesus, knowing the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So we take our test from various books. The text I'am about to read to you is the First Corinthians chapter 2. And I will take my reading from the beginning to the end. And uh, that will help you to. And uh, John 16 to 16. John 16. You can take your reading from beginning to at your home, at your, at your time. So that John 3, verse 27 also, will give you some clue of what we are about to talk about today. And the second Corinthians 5, verse 7, about faith. And then take it back to the second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 18. That one too will help you. Hallelujah. Are you there? Okay, thank you. Let's take our reading from verse, the book of um, 1 Corinthians chapter 2. Like uh, many books have been given to you, but this is our test here. And so it was with me, brothers and sisters. When I came to you, I did not come with eloquence or human wisdom as I proclaimed to you the testimony about God. Verse 2. For I resolved to know nothing why I was with you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. Verse 3. I came to you in weakness, in weakness with great fear and trembling. Chapter 4. My message and my preaching were not with wise and persuasive words, but with a demonstration of the Spirit power. Verse 5. So that your faith might not rest on human wisdom, but on God's power. Hallelujah. When you now go down, you find the God's wisdom revealed by the Spirit. This is verse 6. Hallelujah. This is verse 6. We do ever speak a message of wisdom among the mature. That is, among the mature, but not the wisdom of this age or of the ruler of this age. So you take your time to read from verse to the end. Like many other books have been given to you. Hallelujah. You have been given many other books. If I take it back again, 
the book of John 3 verse 27. Second Corinthians 5 verse 7. Second Corinthians verse chapter 4 verse 18. Also being given to you. And John 16. Hallelujah. And uh, the reading First Corinthians chapter 2, which we have just read now. Hallelujah. Taking your reading from verse, verse 1 to the end, that's First Corinthians chapter 2. You will find that the spirit is the organ by which we apprehend divine things. I take it back again. The spirit is the organ by which we apprehend divine things. Man's spirit is dead because of sin. Because of what? Because of sin. Man's spirit is dead. The natural man, that is, the man of mind, and the internet cannot understand nor receive things of the spirit. Where there's no vision, people perish. And this is what is going on now. This is what is happening in our generation. Things have perished. Because you, you cannot see Satan on the natural. I do not see Satan on the natural. I see Satan on the other side. Spirit world. This is where, where there is no vision, perish, destruction, killing. Tell your neighbor, I do not see Satan on the natural. I see Satan on the other side, the spirit world. That is why the Bible says, where there is no vision, people perish. Satan. Tell your neighbor, where there is no vision, people perish. See. What can you see here? It's impossible to see what is here with your sight. With your sight, it is impossible to see what is here with your sight. Everyone is exposed to things that are not consistent with God's work. If this thing control your feelings, and your feeling control your faith, you can be a Christian, yet controlled by Satan devices. If these things control your feelings, and your feeling control your faith, you can be a Christian, no doubt. Yet, controlled by what? Satan's devices. Tell your neighbor, 
I do not say Satan. On the natural. I see Satan on the other side. The spirit war. Tell your neighbor again. I can hear you. Again. Last week I was telling you that uh, I, mean, I, I would like to go to ceremony, I would like to go to wedding, I'd like to go to dinner, I'd like to go to this, I'd like to go to gathering. But I'm, I'm more comfortable working in the spirit because that is where I can hear Jesus. Tell you neighbor, I'm more comfortable working in the spirit. That is where I can hear Jesus. But in the natural, I'm more comfortable working in the spirit. That is where I can hear Jesus. Timmy Joshua. Yes, sir. In the spirit. But in the natural. Hmm. Can you say the life you live today? I'm more comfortable working in the spirit. That is where I can hear Jesus. God gives all spirit to apprehend him. He gives our spirit to what? To do what? To apprehend him. Knowing Jesus, knowing the Holy Spirit. Don't forget. There has been a great Miss, miss up. Great miss up in the church. There has been a great what? Miss up in the ministry, in the church, in the ministry. It is the erroneous assumption that spiritual truth can be intellectually perceived. Erroneous assumption that intellectual truth, intellectual can be perceived. It is possible To grow in the church, to grow up in the church as a baby. Your father is founder of this, founder of that church, founder of that church. And learn all rights, but may not know Jesus. Because Jesus is not known by those external things. Jesus is not known by those external things. In that John 16, it is perfectly plain that the Holy Spirit is the one that revealed Jesus to us. Perfectly plain that the Holy Spirit is the one that reveals Jesus to us.
you can read your New Testament. Your New Testament. You can read your New Testament and still never find Jesus in it. You can be convinced that Jesus is the Son of God and still never find Jesus. You can be a publisher of the Bible. The publisher of the Bible. You can know Jesus. You can know Christ dying for you. Take note of that. You can know about Christ dying for you. You can head this, that religious organization. You can be the founder and general overseer and still never know Jesus of Nazareth in the power of Holy Ghost. In the church, there are two Christ. There are what? Two Christ. You need to know the one you are worshiped today. There are two Christ. The Christ of story and of history and song, the baby Jesus. The Christ of history and of story and son, the baby Jesus. Then there is this Christ which the Holy Spirit reveals. There is this Christ which the Holy Spirit what? Reveals. Many people know about Christ, but they don't know Christ. You may know about Christ, but not knowing Christ. There is a difference. Knowing about Christ and knowing Christ. In that John 3 verse 27, no man can receive except it is given from above. No man can receive except it is given from what? Above. From above. In 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16, all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable.
if you are risen into Christianity, some wise fellow can reason you out of it. Unless you know the Holy Spirit. Because Jesus, unless you know the Holy Spirit, because knowing Jesus, knowing the Holy Spirit, if you are risen into Christianity, without knowing the Holy Ghost, and you become a Christian, claim you are a Christian without the Holy Ghost, some wise fellow can reason you out of it. Unless you know the Holy Spirit. Knowing Jesus is knowing the Holy Ghost. This is why you see people today, I'm a member of this church today, I don't want to go to church again. I used to be a Christian, but uh, no, I'm this, no, I'm this, no. I'm a pastor, no, I'm no more. I'm an evangelist, no, I'm no more evangelist. Some wise people, some wise fellow can reason you out. If you are not, if you are risen to Christian, Christianity, why? Because Christianity stands or falls on Christ Jesus. I repeat again. Why? Because Christianity falls or sounds on Christ Jesus. Sounds or falls on the illumination of the Holy Ghost. It is either the Holy Spirit or darkness. It is either the Holy Ghost or darkness. The Holy Ghost is God's imperative of life. Imperative of life. I want to leave you. I want you to think because what we are saying for the past one month is too touching. It's not history. If our faith is not, if, let me take this way. If our faith is to be a New Testament faith, if Jesus Christ is to be the Christ of God, rather the Christ of history or story, The illumination of Holy Ghost will test us, will test our heart that we are learning at Jesus' feet, not on man's on man's feet. Check it again. If your faith, if our faith is to be a New Testament faith, if Jesus is to be the Christ of God rather than the, the Christ of story or history, then the illumination of the Holy Ghost will test our hearts that we are learning at the feet of Jesus. Over to you. I want to leave you here. Are you, are you, no, 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 no. What I'm saying is not, it's not, it's not demand for applause. It's demand for crying. 
sober reflection because I don't see Christian among you. I'm seeing religious people sitting down. Tell your neighbor, I cannot see Christian among you. I'm seeing religious people sitting down. Tell your neighbor again. Again. So why, why are you clapping? I cannot say Christian among you. I'm seeing religious people sitting down. As it should be. The way your forefather serving God. The way your father pray. The way your father fasting. This is the way you are going about serving God. The Christ of history, of story, of, of song, baby Jesus. The Christ of history, of story, song, the Christ we sing about. I can't say Christian. What is Christian? Christian lie in our hearts. Where is Christian? Who is Christian among us? Okay, if you are a Christian, can you tell me who is talking to you? Can you are you seeing beyond me? That is what we call Christian. If you are a Christian, you live by Holy Ghost. You'll be able to see beyond me. You can't see beyond me. You only see me talking to you. That is all you see. That is why you can go out. That is why we can do everything. That is why tomorrow you may not be able, you may not come to church if you are not here or if you are not blessed. Because you are risen into Christianity. So, no, 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 I have not talked anything that could make you to start clapping. If this today is your last day, where are you going? Is there any kingdom for religious? The kingdom come, that will be done. Where, will you, where are you going if today is your last day? You tell Jesus I'm a member of this church and go to church? Is that the excuse you are going to give? I can't see Christian among you. I can't see Christians. So I want to leave you here. We we'll continue the journey. This is the message God has me to give you. Knowing Jesus, knowing the Holy Spirit. So thank you. You cannot obey the written word. That is the painful part. So you may you are just carried by you. And you are just reading the history part of it. You are just reading the story part of it. Because there is no way you can obey the word of God if you are not filled. That is the most painful part of it. Where is your Bible? See, this one you cannot obey. It. You will just be reading it as a religious man. You read to preach, to teach it, but to live it is not possible. And if you cannot obey the scripture, you quench God. You quench him. <laughs> you quench him. 
If you cannot tell your neighbor, if you cannot obey the scripture, you quench him. If you are not filled with the spirit, you cannot obey the written word. And if you cannot obey the written word, you quench him. So that is the most painful part. There is reading the Bible, the carry Bible. Me, the word here is not just, it's not an history. The Holy Spirit carry the writer along. That's the most painful thing. Very, very painful. Very, very painful. And many of you have read, read this Bible for five times. We have many publisher here, publisher of the Bible. I know there are among you that publish Bible to, for, 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 for daily bread. So please, that's where we're we going. That's the most painful part of it. Most painful part of it, me Bible is irrelevant to you. Now I will be stretching her now, you see people checking. You see people checking, but you don't know what is checking them. What is that, that the resurrection power you cannot see because you are not uh, filled. The resurrection power that flow within me to, the, to them, you cannot see, but you only see people checking, falling. It becomes a magic to you. It becomes very magic, very ridiculous. Ah. What is it? This cannot, without touch, what is folly people? You can't see because you are not filled to that. It's blasphemy. Your heart, you will not say it all, but your heart is saying a lot. Your heart is saying a lot. Your heart is blasphemy. Your heart is, is no less. You keep blaspheming. You keep seeing what you do, do not understand. You, your heart will blaspheme. This is the problem we find ourselves. Hmm? You believe you can get God by money, by people keep a shot, you people. You believe so much. Hmm? I will stand here to tell you don't go to that church, don't go to that. Why should I say you should not go there? If you go there, you'll be able to see more. Seeing more will help your, 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 your history. It will make you adequate serving God. If that church is not good, go there. See it yourself. If you have not seen enough darkness, you cannot appreciate light. That's it. If, you, if here is off and we find ourselves in dark, just two minutes and the light comes. You cannot appreciate. If you have seen enough darkness and the, when the light comes, you embrace it. You dare me. How can anybody will tell you don't go to that shore? Don't go to that place. That place is not for God. That place. Why? Why? You have more to learn. By the time you don't see the light, you appreciate it. You appreciate it. When you hear people say that place is not good, that place is not good, it's telling you for, 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 the, for the sake of money. It's not out of law, but out of what? That is it. These are the reasons why many are made today. So, that is it. So, Please, 
You are not serving God without the Holy Spirit. Tell your neighbor. I can't hear you. Tell your neighbor. I don't know how you can serve God. I don't know how you can serve him. There is no alternative. You are not serving God without the Holy Spirit. Can you imagine the life you are believing? If you are serving God without the Holy Spirit, you are serving God you do not know. Tell your neighbor, if I serve God without the Holy Ghost, I'm serving God I do not know. Okay. How can you serve God you do not know? In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, you do know him. It is the spirit that makes us know him. Serving God without the Holy Spirit, serving God you do not know. And this is the God our forefathers served. And this is the life you are living today. Someone keeps telling you what God says. Someone keeps telling you God says you should sleep. That is the life you want to live throughout. God said you should sleep. God said you should wake up. God said you should know. God said you should fast. God said you should peace. God said you should go to London. God said you should. Is that the life you want to live throughout? It means you are still serving God you do not know. Someone is telling you what God says. It means you don't know that God. That's why someone is telling you. For how long? Yeah? For how long? That is the most desirable thing. So I want to, once again, it's very painful. Very, very painful. Tell your neighbor, very, very painful. Very, very painful. That is the way I say it. Very, 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 very painful. Intellectually perceived ah. spiritual truth. We can intellectually perceive it. Very, very painful. Very, very painful. Very, very painful. You have to get out of this. Forget about your problem. You don't have problem. That is the only problem you have. Every other problem are no problem. The greatest problem is for you to serve God you do not know. Tell your neighbor, the greatest problem, the greatest problem. all other all are not problem. The greatest problem, the greatest is, problem. is to serve God to serve you do not know. Serve God, you do not know. You do not know. Imagine your age today. How old are you? You have been serving God. That you have dream, you have to consult somebody to tell you the meaning. Hmm? You have job, you want to know whether it's a good job. You want to marry, you carry it medically to know whether it's good. Spiritually, you run from one place to another to know whether it's a right thing. This is the life you have been living. And those lives are not profitable. Are not profitable. A man cannot receive except it is given from above. But you can receive, receive from people, receive from people, receive from people. So what, where are we going? You say you, you are poor. You are not poor. You say you are sick. You are not sick. You are only serving God. You do not know. If you are blessed today and you still continue serving God, you do not know, 
you still come back poorer. Unless you serve God, you know. So, man of God, please help my husband. He has, he has cancer, cancer of the bone, bone marrow. Cancer of the bone. Cancer of the bone marrow. And I have also cervical spondylosis due to the cancer of the bone marrow I fell and uh, had a hip fracture Vemos este hombre con cáncer en sus huesos en la médula espinal lo que ha generado una fractura I hope you people have settled the conflict mm, disagreement Yes, sir. Speak louder. Yes, sir. It's on you. It is on from your side. You give this woman a torture. Yes, man of God. Yes, man of God. For for her to still be in your home is a miracle. Yes, man of God. Now, who is with you today? She. So I want to see people if God has if God hears you. Huh? If God hears you, I want to see you. Yes, man of God. Okay. Let's start here. Vemos esta mujer con rigidez en su cuello recibiendo sanidad y ministración en el nombre de Jesús. And if you view, look at what you are watching on this. Look at what, can you see what you are watching? It may, it's not, please take your destiny here, please. This, you, you can you see? It means this hand, there is another hand, you see? You see? You see? You see? There is another hand. Wait. Please listen to me. We, this is not issue of a celebration or whatever. We just preach about this. And I want to explain. There is another hand that is touching this woman. Huh? That, that hand that is touching her is the one that healed, not me. Can you see? So therefore, the work of healing is not my work. <laughs> so human hand is not needed to do that job. But I'm just here to tell you about it, the healer. But I'm not the healer. But he has no tongue but my tongue to tell you. But he is the healer. Remove it. You can't. Turn your neck. Turn it off. Off. Crazy, you can go. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I'm healed. Thank you. Here. Thank okay. you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My wife is here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My name is Dr. Samson Uche. I came in lieu of lumbar spondylosis that have been worrying me for the past nine years. And I believe my coming in here today, I'm going to be properly healed in the name of Jesus. Man of God, please help me. Please deliver me. I've been suffering from sleep apnea. The name is Sharna Abrahams, and I'm from Canada. And I've been suffering from sleep apnea and hypertension for over eight years now. Estamos viendo el poder, el poder de resurrección de Jesucristo actuando en la vida de este hombre que tiene rigidez en su cuello. Este hombre sufre de una rigidez del cuello, debido a la espondilosa cervical y lumbar, utilizando una minerva. So, can you say, the man of mind, the intellect, will blaspheme. Seeing this, there's no way you can control your heart. You must blaspheme it. The, mind, the man of mind will blaspheme. That is natural mind. Natural man will blaspheme. It's not easy. This is what we are talking about today. That the natural man, that is the man of mind, cannot understand nor receive things of the Spirit because their spirit is dead because of sin. Yeah, can you? Will you leave that place? Okay, can you help? Yeah. Okay, sir. Thank you. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Uh, praise the Lord. I'm free. Uh, I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Ese hombre con rigidez en su cuello debido a una espondilosis cervical está recibiendo la administración del Espíritu Santo. I see this man is is gone. I say he's gone. He is as you will. He may choose to fall you down. He may choose to take you off. He may choose, I mean, to still be conscious of yourself. The spirit feel heal as you will. So if you now believe that the way this man falls, you must fall. That is a natural mind. I say he's gone. The spirit of God choose as a way. He heals as a way. He blesses as a way. Some, after the healing here today, it may be in your dream, you will find fibro on your bed. Yeah. Why? Some, instantly the fibro will come out. Instantly. Why? During the service, during the prayer, you hear a phone call. Someone who has owned you a lot for the many years. We'll call you, please. Where are you? Come and collect your money. 
So, it is as a way. Look at this man. Can I see? He has not been sleeping. Do you find him sleeping here? Yeah? He's not sleeping. But now, but after just stretching hand, he's gone. That is, spirit does as a way. So please, don't stand to say, the other man fall, I must fall today. And there's some people, when I'm coming to them, they will still like this. <laughs> this man is coming to fall me. How do you know you fall? Tell your neighbor, the natural mind. The natural man. That's to say, that to show that uh, you are not watching God with Holy Ghost. Some people, when I'm coming to them, to stretch and flesh. Because they just believe they must fall. So, no. He does as a way. That's it. It's free now. Come on. That's it. So. Where were you? Where were you? We will find you sleeping. Yeah, I was... Speak, speak louder. I was just gone. I don't know what was Speak happened. louder. I don't really know what happened, but I know I was touched. But I see myself in a different place. Speak louder. I know I was touched, but what happened next, I don't know. I just went off. Okay, stand up and see whether they have taken you to the hospital. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Okay, he has gone to I'm the hospital. Here. Thank you, Jesus. I am here. Thank you, Jesus, for my healing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. So this man now will be, will want, he will be thinking that he will sleep. Now, he has, uh, because his bag was not in this position before, he has ready, if I'm going to sleep. <laughs> if I'm going to sleep. He prepared everything. Immediately, he discovered that man is gone. He said, oh no, what is going to happen to me? So he prepared his suit and, uh, okay, if I'm gone. You are not going to, that is not going to happen. You still be conscious of yourself, okay? He does as he will, okay? Okay, stand up. I was. Mm -hmm. Vemos este hombre con dificultad para caminar, recibiendo su sanidad en el nombre de Jesús. Okay. Go. Go. You can go. Jesus name. 